betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. We're on to race number six now, which will jump at 15.20. It's over 1,400 meters and no changes to report at this early stage. First selection for me, number nine, Blue Horizon from the Mowing Yard with Kobeli Dihaba aboard. Sheldon, I thought that last run was a cracker and I have been following Jazz Cafe, so... <coughs> excuse me. I do believe that number nine represents some value at around about four to one. Yes, yeah, so horse like number nine, Blue Horizon, after winning the maiden beating Tamaris, came out and ran a decent third behind Jazz Cafe. And you mentioned Jazz Cafe is a horse who's on the upward mobile track and could be a horse to follow in the right handicaps. We heard from Robbie Hill, let's not count out chickens before they hatch because still a long way to go. But Jazz Cafe is a horse who's got ability. Now, Blue Horizon was pushed up a point for that third to Jazz Cafe, but Cabelli de Harbour, he takes the one and a half off the back, so that'll certainly help, and you've got to go throw in this horse Blue Horizon. However, I'm going with number five, Kayleen, at 12 to one as my value selection. Now, when you look at the race, the stable rider, Rachel Venneker, she's riding number one, Fabulous, for the Michael Roberts stable, but I'm going to be with number five, Kayleen. A runner who achieved a 106. There's only two runners who's achieved over 100 in this contest, herself a number 10, Kate Town Beauty. So I think off this rating of 82, she's a very difficult ride. You either got to jump her out and get her to the front because she can pull yeah. or you got to tuck her right at the back of the field and try and switch her off. My opinion from that draw, I'd like to see her ridden forward over the 1400. If she gets into the top two or three turning for home and she blasts away, I mean if you go back to her earlier form, she's taken on some really decent opposition and this will be the value for me at 12 to 1. So number 5, Kayleen. I am going against the grain because the stable rider does ride number 1, Fabulous. Last time, shoe replaced prior to the race and just never put in an effort. So you can totally ignore that run. Penultimate run beat Kanabi. So you definitely have to factor the Michael Roberts combination in here. But I'm certainly going to go with number 5, Kayleen as the value. And then for me, numbers 3 and 4. they horses who've got the ability but Devon, the jury's out for me over the 1400 meter trip. There's a few question marks that need to be answered for me. Yes, no, 100% correct. They have been racing over much shorter, but nevertheless, uh, they do have the ability to finish in the money and you can throw them into larger trifectas and quartets, as well as number seven, Mbulazana from the Wendy Whitehead Yard, who ran a cracker in the last start, finishing 0.7 lengths behind Morgan Le Fay. Well, in wrapping up, Devon suggests number nine, Blue Horizon. So definitely number nine, Blue Horizon, you have to throw in. And often when we work together, we get some exactors and swingers and that. So I'm going to throw in number five, Kayleen. So work about number five, Kayleen, and number nine, Blue Horizon. Work around these two horses and structure your bets. And let's see what they can do for us on the track. It's Donovan Everett here from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.